Okay, so the time has come. I have finally fucking finished this mod after working on it for like two months. So, gonna be showcasing uh, some of it today. Let's see. Okay. Yeah. Alright, so I guess what I'll do is show off uh, my save so you can see all the all the stuff. Well, this is unscripted, so yeah, it might be messy. Uh, as you can see, this is a custom haircut that I made. It's supposed to be based on like my haircut. <laughs> Looks a little choppy on the sides, but I, I like it. And then we have um, a lot of things rendered black. And we got um, some custom pixel stuff here and there. And we got uh, some of my art on paintings. <sighs> got several spouses. <laughs> yeah, um, I also have uh, some other mods running in the background. Free love, that's why I have uh, the spouses. And I have the uh, farmhouse bathroom mod too. Um, I just like having a bathroom. And um, this, my mod does work with Stardew Valley Expanded. I made it specifically to do that. Um, let's show off some more things. There's a lot. I've definitely done a lot. Here's the Stardew Valley Expanded uh, winery. I also did the inside. <laughs> really love how it turned out. Ooh. <laughs> Also, I'm like a bit out of breath. I was just like on a walk. I went out uh, and did a beer run. Here's one of the statues turned into raisin. <laughs> Our little fish ponds. Chicken coops. <clears throat> the shed. And this is the uh, Stardew Valley Expanded um, Premium Coop. I didn't do the insides of uh, coops and barns, I just didn't really see a point. And we, here we have teleporters. And this is um, the teleporter for the uh, downtown Zuzio mod. I just made it compatible because why not? I really like how all the teleporters look. <coughs> and we have Stardew Valley Expanded's uh, premium barn. I like how it looks. <laughs> Let's see what else we got to show. Some other farm buildings. A silo and a well. The uh, windmill. The clock. And the greenhouse. Let's see how it um changes seasons and look at that. Let's see. Oh, it doesn't uh, change those a bit. You have to like save, I guess. But yeah, I made um different season variants for all the buildings and stuff. A little Juno hut. And we got our custom scarecrows. <laughs> Bunch of them. And here's uh, one of our statues. <laughs> Emo looking horse, I love it. <laughs> a little emo hair. And we have a ton of customized villagers. Here we got Krobus. <laughs> and who else is here? We have like a bunch of wallpapers and such too. <laughs> flooring and did all the fucking wallpapers and flooring. Uh, a lot, a lot to choose from in the, um, let's see anything here, yeah. A lot of just color renders. Yeah, a ton, a ton to look through those spouse rooms. I really like how those turned out. Alright, let's go find some more villagers. 
Here we have some of the spouses uh, glitching out. Sebastian. I don't think we can reach uh, Penny. So yeah. Oh, a little Thor Thor. All right, let's go find some more. Here we have Haley. Her fall outfit. Mm -hmm. And the clinic. Marnie. So many villagers have been modified. Harvey is now a plague doctor. And Maru is a plague nurse when she works here. Uh -huh. It looks really cool. And here's Harvey. <laughs> and did his room. Oh, it looks really cool. <laughs> Let's go see who else is around. Definitely made uh, Abigail goth. I love her look. Gave her the uh, bat's nest hairstyle on her room. Looking awesome. Love it. <laughs> and the altar room has been turned into a hookah lounge. Because why not? <laughs> Alright, let's go see what else we got. Victorian goth. <laughs> totally did all their their entire house. Really love how it looks. Looks so cool. Uh -huh. I'm thinking about doing a video showing off all the Easter eggs because I have 30 in total. Here's Penny's house. She's got her goth room. Love it. Gave her a death rock look and I love it. <laughs> She's definitely one of the one of my favorites that I did. Even the paper. <laughs> love how it looks. Okay, let's see what else we got. Oh, Haley's house. Ah, here's uh, Emily. Made her alternative. Oops. <laughs> a little bit of a layering bug, but that's not hard to fix. Happens. Like how it looks in here. With Sam and Vincent's rooms. Like how they look. It's uh, made bigger with the uh, Stardew Valley Expanded. Yeah, some of the rooms um, are bigger with Stardew Valley Expanded. So I made like um, vanilla modded versions and uh, Stardew Valley Expanded versions. We even uh, did Gunther. <laughs> Yes, he's not supposed to have legs. His his uh, mod is actually a joke. <laughs> I just included it because why not? Um, here's Leah. I like her fall look. I love her hair. Actually, I um, I based that design off of uh, somebody that I used to know, and same with um. Shane. Shane and Krobus. Let's go see if we can find someone else real quick. Here we are at Ginger Island. House is looking good. All gothed out. Let's see who's here. Ah, here's Sam. <laughs> Very punk. Looking good. Huh. Didn't know the kids come here. Ah, here, here's Shane. I based his design off of an old friend of mine. Oh. Well, yeah. That's about it. There's like a bunch of um, little odds and ends and a ton of characters got uh, modified. 
but yeah, it's, it's a fun little mod if, if you're into goth and whatnot, and yeah, all the UI is done. I'm pretty happy with it. But yeah, that's gonna do it. Um, yeah, thank you guys for tuning in and whatnot, and the link for this mod will be down in the description. Alright, until next time, I will catch you guys later.